All right, so we're almost hooked up, ready to leave. But we've got a slight issue. Uh, we've got power on this fridge because the display's on. So you can have a look at that. Um, but we've got nothing, no juice on our freezer, which is obviously a concern, right? Because we've got all our frozen food and meals in there. So we're going to have a look. I'm thinking there's no power. It's probably a fuse blown. Otherwise, we'd have both fridges off. So let's come around here and we'll have a look. When you've got 12 volt problems, always start at the point where it plugs in. So we'll start at the uh, plug of the fridge and we'll see if we've got 12 volt. And we've got nothing. So, nothing is never good. Right, the next thing to do, so I've got a little power board down here and in my power board I had it plugged into this plug one so I'm just going to test the voltage on that and see if we get some voltage and we have 12 volt we have 12 volt on that plug which means that we might have a blown glass cartridge fuse We'll do now because fuse is always on the, the positive side is we'll just put our meter onto ohms and we'll just go from the positive Anderson point through to the positive side of the fridge which will be one of these is yeah 0.6 of an ohm so that's all good so it's actually not a blown fuse that's fine what it might be though is a Bad plug connection potentially. And it's actually broken right in this part of the wire here. So all we're gonna do is lose this whole plug, solder this together, because I don't really need it. So if negative is always the outside, positive is always the pin. So they were sitting on there like that. So your positives there, and you've got to know which one's positive or negative, so you don't put your voltage around the wrong way on the fridge, because that is very bad. All right, so update. I've cut this plug off, which is off the other end. Now this end had 12 volt on it, so you've got to remember to unplug or disconnect or remove your fuse. Unplug both ends of your wiring before you cut through it, otherwise you go bang, blow fuses. So because this was all insulated, and I've just had to cut through it. A bit hard to tell which one's which. What you can do is uh, use this. So if we go to like the center pin in here, all right, our meter is currently on ohms. So if we hang that like up there, all right, hopefully that's easy to see-ish. Okay, so we're going center pin in the middle because we're looking for positive. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tap the negative. Sorry, we're going to tap, tap one wire and we've got nothing. And we tap the black wire. Okay, so black looks like it's positive. Okay, then what we'll do is we'll go to the outside, which means white. If we touch white, there we go. White shows up. Black does not. Okay, so it looks like white is negative, black is positive, which a lot of people... Would think otherwise all right so black is positive so what i've done so far is i've cut the uh cut back a fair way and i've cut the positive one off first so we're going to go positive to positive twist this around solder it tape it then do the negative and then we'll give it a test So we'll tape these individually and then we'll put a whole lot of tape over the top just to join them together and give them an extra layer of insulation in case they rub. So we'll just tape that up like that. And now the big test, eh? Mm. Does it work? Mm. 
question. Easy as right. Cool. And the food is saved. Food is saved. Yep. Well, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up. And uh, remember to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.